Oh, pokey, crikey, check it out. Looks like a jungle, but that's actually the back end of our veggie garden. Can you believe it? Hidden in all that overgrowth, the Trifford pumpkin vine, grass and weeds is several crops that I want to find in there. Now I've got all the excuses why this is such a mess. The floods, all the rain, I can't get equipment in here. Renovations we've got going on. So we're really disrupted at the moment and I just haven't had the time to clean up this back part. The front of the veggie garden is good. And we're prepping for the new season, our winter coming in. But the back here, she's a bit buggered and we're gonna have to get into it and whip a snippet down and find those crops that have disappeared from view. I've got ginger in there, I've got elephantitis, did I say elephant? Elephant? Elephant yam, chilies, strawberries, I bet they're gone. Asparagus, so there's several crops in there that we need to find and let's uh, have a competition and see how many pumpkins I pull out. You guys can count them. Anyway, I'm Mark from Self Sufficient Me and let's get into it. Right, I've got a lot to do, I'm all kitted up. Make sure you keep an eye on how many pumpkins I can pull out, if any. Let's go. Of course it doesn't start when I'm on camera doing this. This was my Excalibur hero look. Okay, I've had enough. Cut. <laughs> I found the first pumpkin. At least I got to the first bed. That there was where the strawberries are in. It's not looking good for the strawberries. Looks like they've been smothered out. No, nope, I'm afraid the strawberries have had it. These were an alpine type of strawberry and they just got smothered out. Can't even see any sign of them. None at all. There they were. That would have been the root ball of one. Gone. Oh well, strawberries. Let's see what else we've got. <coughs> Swallow the bug. Good protein. Couple more. Oh, I tell you what, slow progress, but the asparagus bed's looking pretty good even though it was really overgrown. It's done a good job to poke through and get sun, so that's good, especially since I planted some new asparagus in the other side because it used to be a ginger and asparagus bed, and at the moment it does still have some ginger in there that I'd missed, and it's coming up, well it's came up and grew well this summer. This extra rain has helped. I haven't had to water down the back here. It's just the overgrownness that's the problem. But, oh, let's keep pushing through. Slow progress. Oopsie. One thing that's interesting is the sweet potato in most cases has 
competed and outcompeted the pumpkin vine, which is outstanding. I planted some new varieties for this summer. I'm going to be interested to see what they look like and what the tubers are like. How am I looking? In that last oval bed there, I didn't plant anything, I was leaving it rest. A whole heap of these godforsaken weeds got in there. We can maybe compost that down later. Look, I've found something other than a pumpkin. It's a sweet potato. Check this one out. It's had the guts eaten out of it. Hey? Wow. Looks like they've been coming back several nights or more, maybe several weeks. Rodents, rodents for sure. Oh well, as long as they're eating this one and not the rest. Oof, it stinks a little bit too. Phew. Anyway, interesting. Oh, one of the last. I don't know how many there are, but we'll count them after. Um, well, we're just about finished with the whipper snipping. I've got to pull a few more weeds here and there, and I think we're just about done. A pumpkin pyramid. All right, so that's that done. Let me take you in closer and let's have a look at some of the beds and see how they go. I'm surprised with one in particular, which is that one there. That's our blueberries. And uh, they're actually looking all right. I thought they might be all dead. Come on. There's not much left of the tape, but this tape kept the birds away. It did a really good job of it. I was skeptical but I had to try it because it kept coming up in my eBay feed. I had it wrapped around here. I didn't net it this time because I was sick of the sort of going in and out of the net. And it did keep the birds off it and we did get some good blueberries out of it. But then of course all this rain and all this stuff happened, excuses happened, and I wasn't able to get to this and I just left it go. The bed sunk a bit, which I'll pump back up with some more feed and some more manure and all that type of thing later. Likewise, this asparagus bed here, right next to the blueberries, is, uh, like I said before, I think I said before, it's going well. This will all die back now, coming into our winter. Then I'll just mulch it in. But you've got some ginger here that is looking excellent and you've got extra plants that I planted to fill in this bed over here. Plenty of pumpkins, we'll count them later, like I said. These here are two sweet potato beds. They've got both different types of sweet potato in them, and they both competed well underneath the weeds and the pumpkin vine and the other vines. Let me dig down here and see if we can find a decent variety here. Here it is, really good. I can't, it's hard for me to read. I haven't got my glasses on. But uh, that's that variety. First time I've grown it. That's not a big example, but it'll be a beautiful, tasty tuber. And over here, ah, we've got a crossover. That vine has been crossing over into that bed. We've got two different varieties. This beautiful purple variety here. Look at it. And there's the orange one. I'm gonna harvest some of them later. I want sweet potato for dinner tonight. No, not pumpkin. I want sweet potato. Let's have a look here at the ginger. So it looks like the ginger's growing really well. That's about how high it gets. This side was regular ginger. And on the other side of the bed that you can't see from there was the jumbo ginger that I planted. Regular ginger seems to have gone a bit better. Let's dig some up. Well, a bit early. So you've got what, what we call young ginger, where the tuber isn't that big, 
but it's beautiful smelling. I wish you could smell this. Oh, wow. So I'll be doing a separate video on this anyway. But uh, yeah, for neglect and no extra water and that, and being smothered out, it's pretty good. We'll be using that and cooking tonight as well, I think. Let's finish off with the elephant yam down the back there. Okay, I'm not going to dig up this elephant yam. I want it to die back and then dig it up so that it has the full time to grow, but yeah, it's doing all right. It's looking a bit pale in places. I think it lacks a few nutrients, but you know, there's some chilies around it as well. Bird's eye, looking very good. Seems that they've been neglected. Well, how many pumpkins did you guess there were? I'll give you a quick hint. It's an actual round figure. So it's in the 10, 20, 30. 30, 30 pumpkins. That's uh, a pretty good effort, I think. I was just talking to my builder. I said, mate, you can have half a dozen. And he's quite happy because he's got young kids that love pumpkin. And there's plenty of pumpkin soup here, I can tell you. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you give it, oh, a, I don't know, thirsty thumbs up. I haven't had a drink this whole time. Just been hooking in and uh, share the video around because it always helps my channel out heaps. Don't forget to visit my website, selfsufficientme.com. My editor, Celia, she's been doing a great job at putting together articles based on my videos and other things. And the latest one is a really interesting article about why to paint fruit tree stems. And she researched it. I really enjoyed reading it. So you will too, I'm sure of it. Anyway, thanks a lot for watching. Bye for now. <laughs> Cheers.